All right, let's begin this new video here. Now that we have our guide set for this logo, I'm gonna start vectorizing it. And uh, what I always do when I start vectorizing is I always use the pen tool. I only use stroke. I use about like a one point, um, sometimes smaller if my lines are a little bit more complex. But I always choose a pretty bright color. I either choose like a blue, but in this instance, I'm gonna use orange. And the reason why I do that is so my lines, I can clearly see um, between what I'm creating and what has already been created. So as you see, I'm just clicking. And what makes these guides so awesome is that I just follow the points. I know that these are going to be symmetrical. I know that these are going to be on, on target here. So I just click and go. So I'm now making my curve using my, my handles. And... You know, it gets a little tricky because I have the sketches reference and the illustration and the guides don't match up. So I'm having to kind of look and really double double check and make sure, okay, which is the right point I need to go to. Um, so that part is a little tricky, um, but it's not too bad. You get used to it. So here we go, making my other guide here. There it is, boom. And what's cool is when you're making or you're using the handles, um, with your guides, your handle will snap with that guide, so it makes sure that everything is aligned. All right, so we got that one piece done. Pretty simple. That curve is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, but we'll get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So let's just start working on this. So where is it starting? Just double checking. All right, that looks good. We'll start clicking away. Curves are so tricky. Um, especially with symmetrical logos. So I always want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Um, there's definitely times I have to redraw it a few times. And as you'll see here, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to go about this curve. That looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little up here. So let's see how that fits. Nope. So that's off. See, this is what I was saying. Sometimes the sketch kind of throws you off when you're trying to try to do this. So now we just got to go to, and that's a better curve anyways. So I'm glad I redid that. There we go. You know, and, and you're going to, you're going to redraw these a couple times. You know, there's going to be areas that not going to look good. So, you know, what we're doing right now, we're just getting a, a basic structure of this logo and just creating our, our points, creating our lines. And then as we actually fill this logo, we'll be able to tweak it and really make it, you know, the way we want it to. So right now we're just going to get the inside here. That looks good. All right. Now let's get the inside of this guy. So this is going to be kind of a pain. So I can already see my curves, like the way I did my spheres, don't really make sense. But that's okay because we have other guides, these, uh, these straight guides that let us know what does. So we can see that where the, the circles intersect is where we can start making our guides for this curve. So we'll use that, we just improvise. You never know what creativity will throw at you, but that's what makes it, what makes it fun. You're not meant to know, you're just meant to experience it and decide in the moment. So that's exactly what we're doing. So I'm definitely liking these interior curves, but these exterior curves do not match. Look at that. It looks really out of whack, really wonky. So let's go ahead and just focus now on the shapes themselves. So I definitely need to uh, cut these shapes out. I'm going to make these white. There we go. They're white. There it is. I'm just hitting the eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard. Right, 
So it looks good. So yeah, we definitely need to work on that part. So let's just make some tweaks here and see what we can do. So it's not lining up right here. So let's just keep messing with these handles. Ideals can be a little tricky. And let's bring these in because there's just so much room there. It just looks really out of whack. So we're just going to clean it up here. That's helping. Raise our handle a little bit higher. It's definitely looking better. It's not 100%. So let's keep tweaking. And that looks pretty good. All right, I'm liking where this is going. That feels definitely a lot better. You can see the difference between the two. So now let's start doing the other side. Maybe it won't be as hard since we know what we're doing, hopefully. <laughs> Do we ever really know what we're doing? Sorry, I can't help it. So we're just going to get in there. That looks pretty good. All right. Maybe just tweak it a little bit more. It looks like it's just poking out a tad there. There we go. All right. So now let's use the Pathfinder tool. But before we do that, actually, let's duplicate this. So what I always like to do is I every step that I create in my logo process, I always have a version of it before I start making some um, pretty substantial edits. So now that I'm actually going to cut this out with the Pathfinder, I wanted to make another one because if it doesn't work out, we have the other version to work back from. So there we go, we use the Pathfinder, cut out our shapes. Now I always like to have one version small, one version um, bigger, and just see how it fits, how, how well it takes up the, uh, the space around it, how well it looks on, on small, if it still communicates the forms that we are wanting to uh, make sure that it, you know, is it holding up really, because it's gonna be printed small. So it's gonna be on business cards as well as larger media, as the brief said, they want to be able to plaster this everywhere. So we got to make sure this logo fits um, in all uh, different spaces. So yeah, that's looking really good. I'm really happy with that design. Uh, so I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. It wasn't too, this one was pretty straightforward. Sometimes when I do a logo, it takes forever and it takes versions and versions, but this one's simple enough. So that's this video. Now. Uh, now everything's black, so we're good to go. So now that we have this, let's start looking at some layout ideas and some typography. All right, see you there.